What's up, my fellow hot shotters? We're back on the road. We're going to run up here to Bedford Heights, Ohio, and deliver that load we loaded just before the 4th. Remember, I, I loaded it. It's a 60-mile trip, right? And it pays 500 bucks. So I don't know what that math adds up to, but I'll put it here on the screen somewhere. Pretty good load. I mean, it's not a real long load. It would be nice if it paid that much per mile and it was like 2,000 miles, but we'll definitely take it. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't going to go anywhere else anyway before then in the 4th. So I grabbed that load and just left it sit at the farm Cowman Ranch uh, through the 4th. And now, like I said, it's, the, it's now July 5th. We'll run up here and deliver. We're probably just going to run right back home because I have an appointment. Can't really get too far because I have an appointment to have my Harley uh, into a local non-Harley shop on the 7th. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Well, we made it. Got checked in. We got to go all the way around the building to door number one. There's one guy ahead of us. And then uh, they'll get to us. Unload us real quick, I guess. Like I said, I guess we'll just probably just go right back home. Unless we find something. I'm probably going to load back out on Monday, I'd imagine. Got to make that money. Door number one. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Look up here and see if it's door number one. Hey, look at that. Door number one was right after door number two. Who'd have thunk it? Whew, van life was much easier. Huh? When I was when I was owner operator in my brand new Volvo with a dry van trailer for all those years. Yeah. It is a lot less hot sitting in your bunk with the AC running than it is standing out in the baking down sun untarping and unstrapping and getting prepared to go in and unload here I'll show you yep there it is waiting for this guy to get out of my way this this step deck making less profit than me <laughs> we won't get into that again but yeah less profit per mile I should say And just like that, we're empty. I don't really have much time to film in there. That's why I got I bought that 360 camera that I mounted up on the high mount on top of the trailer, but I really don't care for the camera, the, the system, the software, the any it's trying to transfer video or audio, anything like that. So it's, I don't know, I gotta figure something out. Maybe I'll buy a standard GoPro again and try that. I don't know. It's just too much trouble. Big old Peterbilt, old school. That looks like a early 90s model. But anywho, we are empty. Yep. Another load successfully delivered. And with any luck, another broker received really good service from a quality company. And they'll use me again. Let's head home. So I got to stay off of like the truck paper website, you know, the for sale trucks and stuff like that. You know, late in the evening when I'm bored and I'm sitting there, I, 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 I got to stay off my phone. <laughs> I, I've been for like the last two weeks looking at things like this. Oh, let me know in the comments if you've seen it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you. Bye.